Hi and welcome to this short video which is going to look at website content and should be viewed in conjunction with the Beginner SEO Website Content Learning Center in Interledo's SEO Workbench. So we're just going to look at the importance of uh, getting your content and your keywords in the right places and we're going to look at a true empirical examples here. So on google.com we've typed in antique furniture and we're just going to do a search to see what results come back. So you can see here the results have come back. You've got your sponsored listings on the top here and on the right hand side. And then above the fold here you have three organic listings. If we scroll down further in the page you can see that Google has brought back some images relevant to antique furniture. Again there is a list of organic results and at the bottom you can see some results from the Google product feed shopping results for antique furniture and then below that again you can see some related searches so we'll go up to the top and we'll have a look at the first three organic results to see do they have anything in common um, that would give them maybe increased relevance for the keyword antique furniture so first of all just by looking at it you can see the title tag of the three organic results all have the phrase antique furniture at the start of the title tag. You can then see in the little snippet that's taken either from the description tag or from a part of the body text that again the keyword phrase antique furniture is used. In the case of the first result it's twice and the second and third results it's once. So let's click on the first antique furniture at artvarkantiques.com and let's have a little look to see how they use the keyword phrase antique furniture. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look a little bit behind the scenes to have a look at their metadata and you can see here their title tag has the keyword antique furniture once, twice, three times and then antique a fourth time. So the title tag is really dominated by the keyword phrase antique furniture. In the description tag then they have antique furniture buy antique furniture from antique bedroom furniture again antique and furniture is very prominent and in the keywords tag we know it's not very relevant these days but they have listed out their antique furniture again again very important to note they have the keyword at the start of all of these tags we'll just close that and we'll highlight now various areas that are on this page so you can see here antique furniture is at the top antique furniture is on the side here as well and if you click on antique furniture you can see that it breaks down and there's several messages of antique furniture on this page you see it antique furniture here they've got an internal link to antique furniture which is only going to the home page and if you scroll down further you can see just the different types of antique furniture Again, antique furniture is in the title tag at the top. We go back to the home page and we'll have a look to see if antique furniture is mentioned more than once. You can see it's at the top here by antique furniture. You can see antique furniture is listed as an internal link. And if you scroll down the page, you can see that they talk about antique furniture. There's some content here and you can see they have it in the heading tags, they have some relevant uh, bullets here and they talk about antique furniture quite a lot. So that's, it's very easy to see why Google would think that this is a relevant uh, website for antique furniture. It uses the metadata quite heavily, um, bordering on too heavily in my opinion, and it also has a page dedicated to antique furniture. Let's go back now and have a look at the second result, Antique Furniture from Go Antiques. And let's have a look again a little bit behind the scenes to see how they use their metadata. You can see here they have Antique Furniture from Go Antiques, quite a short title tag. Again, description tag, shop for antique furniture, and content at Antiques, Antique Collectible, Collectibles. Again, you can see it's not quite as optimized as the first organic result. 
it only uses antique furniture once uh, in the title tag it doesn't use it at the start of the description tag or at the start of the keywords tag so we'll just close that and we'll have a look and you can see here in the URL it has furniture it doesn't have antique furniture uh, the navigation has furniture again it doesn't have antique furniture and generally scrolling down the page then you can see different types of antique furniture but there's no real content so it's definitely not as optimized as the first organic result if we go back then again to the third organic result have a quick look at that one we'll this is and from about.com this is a well-known site and it's just you can see that's a, a subsection of um, antiques.about.com and again a quick look at behind the scenes the page source you can see that it has across the top here it has the content you can't see it here but it has the content across the top and it's showing you that it is in the title tag, it's in the description tag and the keywords tag. If we have a look at the page then you can see in the URL so we'll just go back to that, in the URL you can see furniture, furniture, period, styles, useful terms and more, it doesn't and it has antiques in the, the core URL. It has here antique furniture price guides, antique furniture price and identification guides and then scrolling down you can see it talks about different types of furniture and some sponsored links then but again it's not as optimized if you click on the antiques furniture guide it, it opens a, a page you can see antique furniture here and antique furniture in the title tag and in the heading tag here so this is probably slightly more optimized for the keyword term antique furniture. So there's three organic results. You can see the heavy use of keyword optimization, especially in the first result, Aardvark Antiques. Thanks for listening.